What's good is uh, Deep of the Two Hungry Bros, representing for the Two Hungry Bros. Uh, if you want to know about me, go to twitter.com slash two hungry bros, facebook.com slash two hungry bros. Or if you want some free music, because I have some free music, which is just free mixes, is uh, two hungry bros .bandcamp But if you want to hear stuff I actually produced, go to iTunes and Google us. We're up on Google. Yo, like the name goes, Two Hungry Bros, we're fueled by hunger to be creative, uh, not even to be creative, we are creative, but what it is, it's uh, Latin flavors that we grew up with as being, being Puerto Ricans from New York. And then um, just like comic books, we read a lot of comics. I read a lot of comics. Uh, I used to watch a lot of wrestling. A lot of times you see me in a wrestling match just because I'm representing La Lucha, which is like the struggle every day. You know, uh, boleros, Latin boleros, a lot of funk and soul. We're producers, so we sample a lot. 2011, the both of us, this wasn't planned, it just happened. Uh, ben Boogs had his, his first son in February. I had my first son in April. So, yeah, we've been inspired to get a lot of music in it. We've been doing it. We've been making, uh, cranking out a lot of beats, getting them to a lot more artists. So 2012, you're gonna see a lot more Two Hungry Bros. 2011 was, like I said, family time. It's still family time every day, whether it's my hip-hop family or my actual family, which I have now, which I'm very proud of. Uh, yo, I'm inspired by organic baby food, like finding different flavors, which is which is like digging for records. Uh, when you find, you know, um, there's Earth's Best, but then you go to like Sprout. Sprout has some ill stuff. Um, they, they even like added Parmesan to, uh, it was zucchini and uh, some potato, I forgot. But it's a good flavor and they also have a lentil Balinese, which is very nice. He likes it. Oh, and their apple cinnamon is great, so sponsorship for my baby. My biggest challenge right now um, that I've been able to is selling music. A lot of kids are giving away their stuff for free. I still move, I still move records, I still move MP3s. Um, I'm not saturating the market with a whole bunch of uh, free stuff. I have given some, free, like uh, my uh, two mixes, uh, Back for Seconds and My Crew's All Thin Air, are not actual, they're actually just grooves with um, rappers on them, they're not our actual production. And it was a spoof off of what mixtapes are when people jack beats. Since we're sample producers, we just jack the actual groove and had rappers rhyme over them. Uh, America is really crazy with their financial and economic situation. So getting people to know that my music, Two Hungry Bros brand music, is what they need in their collection, I mean, that's a challenge. I mean, it's a challenge for any artist to make people believe that, yo, this is the music you want. And, by, and let me just tell you this right now. I want to put this out there. But a lot of kids going, hey, support my music, support my music. Dude, you're a salesman. You know, you want people to think of your product as something they need and they're missing in their life. You don't want to be like a delinquent child. You know, when people say, oh, support me, support me. That sounds very, it sounds like you're at a disadvantage to the people. So. Put, you know, when you're making something, you're confident in it, you're putting your money in it, you're putting your time, your time is your life. You, you know, you're giving this to people. And, and I'm not saying giving it, but make, you know, let them know there's something of value to it. And, they, and then they, when they appreciate, when they see that you're genuine about your product, they're gonna pick it up. So there's no need for like, oh, support me, support me, you know what I mean? Don't do that. So get over the support, I got over it. Cause I used to say it in 2005, hey, cause I heard some people say, I was like, hey, maybe this is a good tagline, but nah. I'm proud of the stuff that I do, and I sell it, and it moves, and people love it. Well, I do this for immortality, straight up. Um, it's called objective immortality, because it's not like, I don't know if I'm gonna see myself down. But um, integrity, you always, you know, you don't want somebody, you don't wanna be successful, and then someone, there's a story about you sucking somebody's dick, because that's how you got there, you know what I mean? We're never, two hungry bros don't do that. We just stand for ourselves, you know, friendship and family. Everyone that we work with is fam, you know, many styles. Oh, sorry, I am many right now. Um, Homeboy Sam, man, Fresh Daily, etc. These are my people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's family, you know, you don't turn your back on family. Well, 2012, we got a subject matter EP uh, about to drop from Stone Throw through Homeboy Sam, man. We have, um, my boy Syntex, he's, do, he's doing a joint. It's all Two Hungry Bros produced called Black Tea. I'm working with Liquid. I'm working with I Am Many on a whole album. We're planning on calling it Avant Garde, but there's gonna be some crazy stuff. I've heard tracks and it's pretty mind blowing. 
Uh, thank you for buying Two Hungry Bros. And oh, thank you for making No Room for Dessert very successful. Uh, Eighth One did a really good job. And thank you to Domination Records. You really rep for us. And thank you for, to Dan Shorts for making that a really like good record for everyone to hear. You know, because making a record is one thing, but getting people to hear it and working it, that's a different story. Invest in yourself, people.